Hello, this is Khuram Nasir and you're watching Optometry with Khuram and in the very last video uh, we discussed about a question and the question was here I'm leaving a question for you uh, how would you for example a patient visits your clinic and you instill the cyclopentolate inside the patient's pupil for cycloplegic refraction my question is how would you know that your patient is fully prepared for cycloplegic refraction how would you know that the accommodation of the patient is fully relaxed now and your patient is fully prepared is ready for the cycloplegic refraction you can give your comments you can give your answers in comment section so for example to understand this question we have to learn about we have some brief knowledge about the cycloplegia you know very well that cycloplegia is actually the combination of two different phenomena right uh, number one is the complete dilation of the pupil right if the pupil is fully dilated this is called the one factor of the cycloplegia right and the second one is called uh, the accommodation if the accommodation of the patient is fully relaxed right that phenomena and pupil dilation collectively is called the cycloplegia right and to perform cycloplegic refraction we need complete cycloplegia right and the cycloplegic drugs or cycloplegic drops are the drugs which occur these phenomena which is called the cycloplegia right if you instill the cyclopentolate inside the patient eye it will cause cycloplegia the, the pupil dilation will occur and accommodation will be at rest right so this is called the cycloplegia right so you know very well that uh, if we instill the cyclopentolate inside the patient's eye we can observe the dilation of the pupil right we can observe that dilation with a simple torch but the ciliaris muscle or the ciliary muscle which cause accommodation that muscle is actually the intraocular muscle we cannot observe the accommodation the process of accommodation with the naked eye right so if we instill the drops for the cycloplegic refraction how would i know i can observe the dilation but how would i know that accommodation is at rest or not because we are instilling the cyclopentolate to relax the accommodation so we can perform retinoscopy we can perform cycloplegic refraction but we can observe the dilation of the pupil with a simple torch right but we cannot we are unable to observe to see the accommodation right either the accommodation is at rest or not so we will learn about uh, the complete cycloplegia either our patient is ready for uh, or either our patient is prepared for um, cycloplegic refraction or not so we have to take care of three different signs right if we want to know that the patient is ready or prepared for the cycloplegic refraction or not the sign number one is we have discussed about and that is the dilation of the pupil we will take a simple torch and we will observe that either the after instilling the drops the dilation of the pupil has occurred or not so if the dilation of the pupil has occurred so this is the first sign this is not the only sign right this is the first sign of the cycloplegia right that our patient is ready for the cycloplegic refraction the pupil dilation but we make a mistake we we instill the drops inside the patient's pupil right and after few minutes we on our pen torch we observe the patient's pupil if the patient's pupil is fully dilated we start cycloplegic refraction this is very wrong right this is very wrong this is the, actually the mistake this is actually the blunder we make while we are dealing with the cycloplegic refraction right the dilation of the pupil is the first sign right of the cycloplegia what about the second sign the second sign is near blur remember that we are instilling the cyclopentolate drops to dilate the pupil right and the second thing is to relax the accommodation so how would i know that the accommodation is accommodation is at rest or accommodation is not exerting so we can observe that thing with the help of the near blur we will make our patient to hold the reading material in in, in his or her hand right and if you observe after instilling the cyclopentolate drops if the reading material if the reading chart is totally blurred that is actually the second sign of the cycloplegia if the reading chart is totally blurred for the patient with the both eyes it means that our drugs is at its effective effectiveness right 
the effectivity of the drugs is working right so this is the second sign the first sign was the dilation of the pupil right the pupil will not react when you will strike the light inside the patient's pupil number one this is the first sign and the second sign is if you make your patient hold the reading chart or reading material the alphabets the numbers on the reading charts or reading material will be blurred this is the second sign so if the reading chart is totally blurred after inst instilling the drops this is the sign of the accommodation right it means that accommodation is at rest he or she the patient is not exerting accommodation this is the second sign and the third sign is very important remember that so for that sake we will perform retinoscopy we will perform the cycloplegic refraction at two different distances first we will perform our retinoscopy at four distance right we will make our patient to look at four right we will give a target if he or she is a child we will give a target at four we will make here we will make him or we will make her attention at four distance right and we will perform a retinoscopy and we will note the readings of the retinoscopy right the final prescription and then we will target our patient at near right and at near we perform we will perform the retinoscopy and if the reading at four distance the reading of the retinoscopy at four distance at at near distance are the same remember that this is very important point this is actually the crux of the video this is actually the crux of the lecture if the reading of the retinoscopy are same at four distance and at near distance this representing that the accommodation of the patient is fully relaxed so i hope you like the video and in the last session of this video i'm leaving another interesting question for you uh, suppose a patient visits your clinic and the pupil of that patient is fully dilated he is already dilated right how would you know with which kind of drugs the pupil of that patient is dilated either that drug is cyclopentolate or that drug is mydratix you can give your suggestions you can give your comments you can give your answers in comment section we'll see you in the next videos